Ladies and gentlemen, ooh, sorry, oh, I'm right there. Uh, anyway, we've got this uh, lovely faded, 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 faded Gibson from the 2018 catalogue. So, let's have a listen, see what it does, poke it with the stick, and then I shall tell you what I can about it. Let's go. <laughs> Surely it is a pick up time and we will start with the Bridget 490T uh, on the noisy or distorted setting. <laughs> They're just terrific pickups, and it, and I can't. I used. You see, I watched Jim Lil's video about where does the tone in my guitar come from, and and sure, it all makes sense, and it and when you listen to it, but I can't help think that there's just something about the combination of Gibson pickups and a Gibson guitar that just makes it that little bit extra special. So, uh, on we go into the. <laughs> Super, let's listen to them on clean. And starting again with the bridge uh, position. There's no push pull splittery trickery on these going on. It's uh, just all, you know, as normal. Um, Center. 
Tak. kind of guitar this there's no mucking about with it it's very very plain simple and straightforward and, it, and it's hard to believe that uh, although it's called the last poem faded it is to all intents and purposes a studio guitar as all of well really all of the ones that are not standard because there's loads of studio variations uh, so we've got a proper studio coming up soon or it might have already been up Anyway, uh, so yes, nice traditional construction, and I love it. So, stand to stern, you've got your uh, Gibson sunscreen logo with Les Paul's signature at the top. It's a blank truss rod cover, you don't get another one with it. Uh, I've never seen a truss rod cover that says faded on it. Around the back, we've got uh, Gibson Deluxe green keys and this is from uh, one of the years well I think it was 17 to 19 where they altered the numbering system and I don't think it was terribly popular and unusually I think that Gibson caved into popular demand to revert to the uh, first and fifth digit as denoting the year and the three in between giving the date of the year because it's it's just a, it's a nice, accurate way. I mean, you really know, not only do you know what year, what month, you know what day of the year, which is, which is terrific. Um, and yes, as you can see, seeing as we're around the back here, as you can see from the grain in the wood, it is in fact a maple neck. And as we've discussed before, uh, maple necks are nothing new for Gibson they've been doing them for ages uh, what would be unusual and there are a few out there but they look weird uh, there was a few from I think about ooh, 2010, 2008, 2009, 2010 somewhere around there uh, that had that had maple fretboards yeah they looked it looked odd Anyway, uh, of course, uh, we do have a rosewood fretboard for this with dot inlays. They, I'm not seeing any shimmering going on there. I'm not seeing any shimmering going on there. So I'm guessing they are acrylic or as they prefer to call them, call them perloid, which is, you know, it's a fancy name for plastic really, isn't it? 22, beautifully level, shiny frets, might I tell you. And uh, I did note, that there's a baby photo with this one. And what I did note with the baby photo, where they take it, uh, they take the photograph of it on the bench, that there was no poker chip fitted. But of course, this has now since been affixed. Uh, they put it in the little goodie bag that you get with the guitar. And uh, of course, it's your choice whether to put it on or not. I mean, you don't need the poker chip to tell you where you are, but I just think they look rather nice. So two open wound uh, 490s, uh, 498T for treble in the bridge, naturally, and the 490R in the neck position. R for rhythm, of course. Uh, the scratch plate uh, has not been removed, which is jolly lovely uh, it looks I think that the scratch plate looks good on this one I love it um, you've got the traditional Nashville stop tail and tunematic bridge there uh, for standard uh, the, 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 you know standard knobs really your standard issue knob so you've got four of those they're not the speed knobs are they because they've got little notches in them and they're a bit like uh, knobs so yes maple and cap maple and cap and uh really with these it's pot luck uh what happens uh, because it's just called a plain maple and cap but these do have a shiny finish 
And this one, luckily, is lovely. That is a really, really nice finish. They only did these in two colours. They did them in this, I think it's called Cherry, and they did um, like a, a vintage, oh God, what's it called? Uh, like a vintage tobacco burst. So yeah, just two colours for this model for this year. Uh, around the back, of course, we can see that it is very clearly, evidently, a mahogany uh, body, which is weight relieved. I will weigh it when I do the photos. I will weigh it, and I don't think that this comes in an awful lot. I think this has got nine hole weight relief plus also maple's probably not going to be as dense as mahogany, so you might save a few ounces there. So, uh, all in all, all in all, all in all, I think the cheapest Les Paul with a, you know, traditional set neck construction, not that they do bonds on necks these days at the moment, uh, I think is about, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, it's got to be a grand, hasn't it? Uh, if you can still find any of those DC tributes, they weren't terribly expensive, but even they were not cheap. Um, the tribute tributes, which also have the maple neck, uh, I think that I think they're up to about twelve hundred quid now. So if you can pick one of these up in nice order, what do you want to pay? I don't know. As we speak now in May twenty twenty three, uh, I don't know if you get all the bag and all the paperwork with it and whatever. Well, I need quite frankly, if it's in good order like this. Anything, anything under a thousand quid would be happy days, really, wouldn't it? I guess. Uh, so, yeah, just make sure, you know, usual thing. Make sure there's no uh, breaks, cracks, dents or repairs and that all the electrics work. Uh, if you can buy from a shop, buy from a shop because then you've got to come back. Uh, buy from a trusted seller if it's on either eBay or, eBay or Reverb because they all get feedback ratings. And the absolutely best thing to do is go and see the thing yourself and take along a cynical friend if you possibly can. So that's it from me and the Gibson Faded 2018. Uh, thanks all ever so much for tuning in. I'll say adios amigos. Ta-ra.